up? This is Sifu Cuddle, and we're gonna be working with the nunchucks in this video. So go ahead and grab your chucks and grab a stick, and let's get to work. All right, so the technique we're gonna be doing in this video is called the reverse flower spin. Now, some of you have seen this from my older channel. I believe I did a video for broadsword, and it's the same exact motions, but we're gonna be doing it with the nunchucks this time. And this is a really nice spin. It gets in front of the body, it gets behind the body. It's kinda like doing a figure eight, but it's got just a little bit more in it. So we're not gonna start with the nunchucks at all. There's a lot of dynamics that are going on here. So if you haven't done this before, what I suggest is let's go with the stick first. So grab your stick and let's get to work. Okay, so now that you have your stick, let's go ahead and grab it a little bit off of the bottom end. You don't need too much extra room here and I don't want you to work all the way down at the bottom end. You can do it from the center of balance and that's not a problem, it's just there's a little bit more going on. It's a lot easier to see and understand this movement if you grab more towards one end than the other. Okay, now we'll keep it simple. This is actually really easy compared to if you're using the blade because you don't have to use the cutting edge of the blade. Also, if you've seen some of the other nunchuck videos, we're gonna be working with that propeller spin. So make sure that you can do a forward propeller spin. All right, not so much the backward. Other than that, we're gonna be working with a figure eight motion. Okay, and we're gonna combine those two and you pretty much have it down. Now, let's start with this stick. Grab onto it and then we're gonna turn it so it's straight up and down, okay? So again, from here, it's upside down. I've got my thumb pointing down. I'm gonna bring it over on this side of my body. Now from here, I'm gonna bring it down next to me, okay? So think of coming across and then use just the, the tip of the, the stick. I'm gonna flip my wrist over and then I have to bring it down to the side here. If I let it go center, I'm gonna end up hitting myself, okay? So again, I turn it over, bring it across and then I let it flip over here, okay? Again, over, bring it down and then I'm gonna let it, just the, let the hand, once it comes up, I let the tip go down here. Okay, now from there, you're gonna continue that momentum. All right, that's where the front propeller spin kicks in. Okay, so again, I'm going to turn it straight up and down and bring it across. Now let the hand turn it straight up and then I'm gonna flip it down and over here. Okay, and then now I'm ready to come back and then down and flip it over. So I start already on my open side, on that same side, I start with it straight up and down, turn, let it naturally drop to the side, and then flip it over. Turn, drop down to the side, flip it over. Okay, so again, I'm gonna turn, let the hand turn this over, the tip is gonna go to my other side, and then I'm gonna turn it back over. Okay, again, down, propeller spin only halfway. Okay, down, Propeller spin. Now instead of continuing the motion like this, I'm going to turn it so that I go all the way thumb down here. Again, over, down, flip. Turn the body, bring it down, flip it over. Turn the body, bring it down, flip it over. Now, this is a very mechanical way of doing it. <clears throat> and one of the things that you're going to have to do is start adding that flow. So once we get it into the down position, it's going to continue to move up as we turn. Now. As you turn, if you do it fast enough, it's not gonna touch your arm. With the stick, feel free, put it right in the armpit, take it over to the other side, and then bring it around, take it over to the other side. This is a good next step when you're just learning this. But eventually, you're gonna have to be able to do this without touching the arm. So nice, relaxed body, nice, relaxed wrist, nice, relaxed grip. Only the thumb and the, the index finger, those are gonna be the two working the most. These need to be flexible, but still there to support it, okay? Now, if you're feeling more comfortable with that, grab it towards the center, and then this way you can make sure as you go around, you stay, you keep everything out of that, that area where the staff is spinning so you don't hit yourself, okay? Once you're really comfortable with this, I mean, so comfortable you can do this and talk or think about something else, then move on to the nunchucks. And again, if you're just starting out with nunchucks, grab a pair of foam nunchucks before going straight to your wooden ones or your metal ones. All right, now to use your nunchucks with this one, grab more towards the chain. You wanna have your rotational axis closer to the chain. It's a lot easier to control and it's a better, better range of motion here. So 
Go ahead and grab it again. Same kind of grip, you want the thumb and the index finger to do most of the work, the rest of the ones are there for support. Now you'll find actually, once you're comfortable using the stick, using the nunchucks is actually a lot easier. This is, uh, it has a natural rotation to itself, so you actually have to do less work to bring it around. And one thing I would suggest is, once you feel comfortable with it, try to narrow the movement so your range of motion is not too big anymore. You narrow it down to just right in front of the body, okay? So again, I have right here. Now try not to go into just doing figure eights. Try to flip it over and do it again. Work with this one, going back to your return position, and then you can even start in the up position and then bring it around. You can go into downs and ups with this one and then back into your reverse flower, okay? I used to spend hours just doing this spin. I, I had a pair of uh, rattan bamboo nunchucks and in my high school years, when I was just playing around with them, I would just sit there and just spin the nunchucks. And it was a nice way of moving meditation. It helped me calm down and focus. And I actually started doing a lot better, staying more focused in school as a, as a side effect of that. So I can't suggest doing this enough, regardless of what your goals are in nunchucks. If you take the time to just sit there, put in the time to spin and try to get better at it, you actually will develop quite a lot in more than just your martial arts, okay? So, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Check out some of my other nunchuck videos in this playlist. We go over more than just spinning. We go over attacks and passes, so where you're gonna be going behind the arms and around. And if you guys get a chance, I will leave a link at the end of the video for my Patreon. You guys can always stop by there. I have specific videos on applications. So if you've seen some of my Kung Fu combinations, I have applications for those videos there. All right, till next time, this is Sifu Cuddle. Bam! Fist with a bow out.